What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we are here starting a new series. We are starting a series checking out CrossFit gyms all around the world and today we are here at CrossFit Kailua and we are checking out this gym. We're going to hang out with the people at this gym. We're going to interview the owner of the gym and all that jazz. All their social media will be linked down below. If you guys are coming to Oahu, Hawaii, I really recommend coming to this gym. It is gorgeous here. The backdrop of this gym is gorgeous. Everything is really, really nice here. Super, super friendly. So let's go check out the gym. I am Hannah Mitchell. I am one of the instructors or coaches here at CrossFit Kailua. I've been here for almost two years now. Uh, we came here, my husband and I came here from England. And before England, we were in Okinawa, which is where I learned CrossFit. So, coaching at a couple different CrossFit gyms. So far, hopefully none of my other athletes will see from my other gyms. This is one of the best places that I think I have ever coached at. Um, not only is it a beautiful scenic view, but the people make it the most fun place to work out and to get rid of stress and um, so I've really enjoyed being here. Before that, I used to be part of CrossFit Oahu, and I was the head coach for four years before that. And uh, I was a regular coach for about a year before that, and I interned, and uh, the bathroom cleaner. Okay. Uh, still am the bathroom cleaner, actually, that's what I did while I was there. That hasn't changed, but uh, the other titles have changed a little bit. Awesome. Maybe a little bit of history about the gym? It started in 2011. May is when they started some of the first classes. Uh, it was under CrossFit Oahu at the time, and uh, Brian Powers was the owner of the five gyms. It was CrossFit Oahu, Pro City, CrossFit YPO, Kaneohe, and CrossFit Kaneohe. Wow. And, okay. and we were all under the umbrella of CrossFit Oahu. In 2017, uh, he uh, offered the head coaches to buy the gyms, the respective gyms. And three of us were able to do it. CrossFit Kaneohe and CrossFit White Peel all became uh, separate entities from CrossFit Oahu, and they uh, are now individually owned. So that's how that kind of started. Um, I moved here in 2012, October 15th. Uh, I used to be in the military. I was in the Navy for 11 years, two months, seven days, and about six hours. <laughs> But who's counting, right? <laughs> and uh, I, I needed a change. I didn't know what exactly I wanted, but I know that I really love Hawaii, so I took a three-month vacation, uh, and I had my level one plan during that time. And I came here not really knowing what I wanted to do. I actually, my plans were to come here, get my level one, work out, go to the beach, hike, and then go back to San Diego and start school there at San Diego State. However, things change. Of course. Six and a half years later, I'm still here, haven't left, haven't gone back to school. <laughs> uh, but now I own CrossFit Kegel, so I guess things have, have gone pretty well. Um, I started then as, a, as just here cleaning. Um, I didn't have a job or anything to do at the time, so I just stayed here all the time. Some of the members of the time used to make fun of me and said I was a gym mascot. <laughs> Because I was always around and not doing anything. So then I started taking photos, actually. Okay. Uh, I never taken photos in my life before. 
and then really like taking photos and I've actually done a few galleries and sold some of my prints and wow. okay. I've done quite a bit. I run the, like personally run the, the social media uh, for CrossFit Kailua and it's, it's very popular. Um, I t took over the social media about two and a half years ago. We had a thousand followers at the time. Uh, we are at 13,700 and it, it goes up every month. We add two to three hundred more followers on it. Uh, it, it. You know, and a lot of it is just exposing the beautiful places. It's not really my photo skills. Uh, our arts. We have some coaches that help out too with stories. Yeah. Um, and because I'm not here all the time, but yeah. and they also, you know, we get all, some of the other photographers here and there to to share some of their mm -hmm. their photos. So it, it is a good a team effort. But uh, I would say I take pride on making sure we post at least once a, a day. Yeah. Make sure we have at least four to five stories a day. Make sure we tag people and share and answer. If somebody makes a comment, I make it a point to answer it. Good. And just kind of stay. Nice. Stay connected with with not just our members here, but our following all over the world. Is there some inspiring athletes that you have guys have here? Some that want to go to the games? Uh, you yeah, know, <laughs> it's funny. All of us, we all want to go to the games. I guess right? so. Uh, at one point, or at least we envision ourselves being yeah. at the games one day. Uh, I like to claim that I've been to the games seven times. <laughs> I bought the tickets all seven times, and I went <laughs> to see the game, so uh, that's my record. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we've we had quite a bit of games athletes from team athletes uh, that were went to the games to uh, individual athletes. I think probably one of the most well-known uh, are going to be Jamie Dagia, who's been here. She's actually a good friend of mine. She's been here a few times. Camille Bon. Oh yeah. Okay. She's a good friend of mine. Her husband Dave Lipson was actually my fundamentals coach. Okay. So I started back at CrossFit Invictus, which is where I learned a lot of the the core things that are required to have a, a good place and a, and a fun gym. Any fun facts about the gym? Fun facts. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, we throw the coolest Halloween party. Oh, I saw a post about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it has nothing to do with CrossFit. We don't do a workout. <laughs> we don't do anything. We just really like to throw Halloween parties. So everyone should come on Halloween. Yeah, and by saying we, I really like throwing Halloween parties. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, the coaches and the members, everybody gets pumped. Cause it's been uh, five years now in a row that we've been doing these. Halloween parties and they're fun. I mean, I know one year we had 71 people paid a ticket to come. Out of the 71, only two were not dressed. Really? Everybody was dressed. Wow. And we do a um, costume, uh, you know, like a costume contest. Mm -hmm. And we have four, no, three categories best male, best female, and best duel. So it could okay. be like. Partner, yeah. yeah, it can be part. It doesn't have to be male or female. It can be any. And we give out one month free membership to the winners. Oh, that's really cool. So, it, and people, I like go all out. Like, <laughs> uh, go back, and check out our Instagram. Yeah, I'll put some yeah, photos on the screen. CrossfitKailua.com and go to our. Uh, I think we have it under highlights. Go under okay. highlights. Here soon, I'm going to create a video from all our and, and, and put it on our on our TV series on our Instagram, but. It, it is fun. I mean, I'm telling you, people go out loud. We had like Mary Poppins theme one. There was a, a uh, actually, I just posted for Mother's Day a photo. Yeah, I saw that right? one. Right? Uh, yeah, the clown. Scary, the good. Yeah. Really good. She won. Best, <laughs> best female. Uh, and she was awesome. I mean, it, and that's just some of them. We had yeah. so many of them. And we throw, we get a DJ, we get food, we get a keg. Wow. Um, we we it's spend. A real party. Yeah, yeah. Our budget for decorations are three hundred dollars, which is maybe not a lot, but it's a lot for us. Three hundred dollars on just decorations oh, yeah. for each year that we throw it, uh, and you have a blast. Okay. So that that's definitely I would say our fun fact. We throw the coolest parties. I saw that you guys do like beach bods. Do you guys like do competitions? 
competitions, special events? Uh, events? Special events, yes. We do, we try to do uh, a beach wad at least once a month now. During the open, it's really hard for us because we really go all out on the open too. Yeah. Um, you guys can check that on the highlights on, on, on uh, our CrossFit Kaigo Instagram. We really go all out. We have a DJ and all that stuff here. But beach wads, we try to do every month. Okay. Uh, our, our members love them and we love doing them. So we, we have some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Yeah. Um, why not use them? I mean, literally, the beach is less than two miles away yeah. that way, so it's, we, we have to. Yeah. Um, and, and we have that. We also have events like, you know, most common ones is sit and stretch, which is a form of yoga okay. for, for athletes. And we do that every other weekend here with a certified yoga instructor, and she is also a member. So she you know, understands movement and lifting and that kind of stuff so she's able to to incorporate a lot of that into the, the yoga. That's really good. That's so we call it sip and stretch, right? That's you can fun. show up, sip on some, some booze or <laughs> margaritas or or just coffee. I mean, you don't have to go off uh, And then we, any, any event that we do, we really try to focus to make it as fun as possible for our members, for our staff, uh, and then make sure we, you know, document it as much as we yeah. can. So we make it better than next time. I saw the gym etiquette. I really like that. Yeah. You so, want to explain it just yeah. a little bit? So we actually just started that last week. That's why it says week two on yeah. it. <laughs> uh, it's, I like the concept. It's really cool. Yeah. So it, it's actually it was one of the ideas from one of our staff members. And uh, during one of our staff meetings we had a few weeks ago, they, uh, you know, we just kept getting little problem members here and there, no, nothing too bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we also don't want to have a rule, gym rule, yeah. you know. Strict, strict, strict. Yeah. Don't do this, this yeah. you know. It's, it, it, one of the examples we gave at the meeting was, when you go home, there's no rules at your house, right? When you walk in, oh, review the rules, because they're going to be in my house. No, you just kind of walk in, parents house and you kind of just already know that's your family yeah. so same thing with with the way we're here is once people are here enough they're gonna understand what the rules are without having a rule book set up uh, however the box etiquette is a good reminder yeah. to people do you have anything else to add? hopefully if you haven't made it here uh, hopefully you make it soon we love our visitors we love our members uh, we're always about having a good time and uh, one thing that we are passionate about is to make sure when people come here, we do, they have fun, they learn something new, and they get a great workout. So, you know, if they get those three things, they're going to continue to come more and more. Gil, Hannah, and all the CrossFit athletes. You guys were amazing. You guys were so nice, so warm and welcoming, and also very nice for letting me put my camera in your faces. It was very nice of you guys. Anyways, I really enjoyed my time at CrossFit Kailua. They were so nice and so just like welcoming. Like they were just like legit so nice. Like I've never felt so 
welcomed in a gym before. Anyways, they were really nice. Please stay tuned for the end, end, end of this video for some bloopers and some fun stuff because they're legit hilarious people. I did not stop laughing the whole time I was there. So yes, if you guys are a CrossFit athlete and go to a CrossFit box, Comment it down below if you want me to come to you guys. I'm checking out CrossFit gyms all around the world. We're going to different places. I just want to show you guys different boxes around the world. If you guys are ever traveling, I want to give you guys some suggestions, some inside looks on how the boxes work and things like that. And I just want to, you know, bring the community together. We are a really big community. We have different boxes everywhere and I just want to kind of show you guys all the different boxes everywhere. So if you guys have a box that you guys go to and you want me to go to, comment it down below please and maybe we will stop by. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And yeah, so let's go on to some of the outtakes. <laughs> Sounds good. Like Sounds good, right? <laughs> and towards the camera. Yeah. Uh, what you just, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and obviously they can enjoy the beautiful view, which yeah. right now it's gonna appear. <laughs> Gorgeous. You're gonna edit a really cool photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Aloha! Welcome, Welcome to CrossFit Canada! Canada. <laughs>